Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Our next presenter is Barbara Lamb. Um, I think many of you may know Barbara, but I want to tell you just a couple things. Um, you know, she is a very special lady. I have been privileged, actually, to know her for over 20 years. And in that time, she has helped, oh boy, I don't know if I have a number on it, but it's got to be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people in learning to deal with their contact experiences. Really important work. She's done it for at least 19 years now. In addition to that, of course, you know, she's also one of the most diligent crop circle researchers. Guys, she has been in the circles in England every year for 18 years in a row. Okay? It's quite a record. Not too many can say that. Today, Barbara is going to share with us some of her most fascinating and important findings. It'll be a treat. Ladies and gentlemen, Barbara Lamb. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I need a booster step, <laughs> like, like everybody, or most everybody here, except nice tall people. Um, that was a nice introduction from Bob, and I want to thank you both, or all, very much uh, for being here. And it's such precious material, I think, uh, that is to be shared about people who are having the extraterrestrial encounters. And there have been now about 660 different people I've regressed to these encounters. And some people have been able, because they live close to me, uh, they've been able to come for many regressions. And some people I meet just once for a regression, such as in an experience like here at the UFO Congress. But anyway, we have learned so much about this phenomenon, and there's so much more to learn, I'm sure. I'm going to be starting by showing you some slides here, and uh, to give a quick run through first about many, many different types of extraterrestrial beings. This scene is a, um, a very typical thing that happens if somebody is driving along the road, particularly at night, and they see a an orb of light or a disk or light shining down from above, or they have a beam of light following them and coming in through the back window as sometimes happens. And then the car motor begins to slow down and the person thinks, oh, what's going on? I better pull off the road. Good thing they do. And then they notice that with the car motor completely stopped, that they seem to be uh, noticing a lot of light typically ahead of them. And the light is sort of diffuse. It's coming from above, and yet it, now it's also down at ground level. And they look out the window of the car, and they see, very typically, three little extraterrestrial beings standing in the light and also in the shadows of the territory. And so this is a typical thing that people will see at the beginning of an experience. People also, as you know, wake up at night and sometimes we'll see bright light coming in through the windows, sometimes forming little sparkles of light, making little spiral patterns in the room, or it might be more like a beam of light coming in. And then even an orb of light sometimes fl floating around the room and coming to rest at the side of the bed. And then that light seems to open up into one or two or three of these unusual beings, and the experience begins. And this is what people often will see, particularly in their bedrooms at night or outdoors in the car situation, beings that look very familiar of this type. And there are many different types of the little grays, different sizes, different shapes, different heights. And, and yet this is a very typical one. This one is not quite as mechanical looking as some of them are. Some people describe the beings as more sort of mechanical or robot-like. But there also are some like this that seem to have luminous eyes. 
and they seem to have expression to some extent in those eyes. We've all heard of the case of Betty and Barney Hill, and this is um, an artist depiction of one of the aliens who met with uh, Betty Hill, and she described in great detail to the artist. I have connected with a wonderful artist in Southern California, Christine Dennett, and she goes by the artist's name of Kesara, K-E-S-A-R-A, -E and many of the people I've regressed to their ET experiences have described the beings that they now, especially after regression, can describe in total detail. And Kassara takes these descriptions, draws the being, and then checks it with the experiencer and makes any alterations, any uh, changes to fit totally the description that the person saw. And this is one of the ones that looks kind of like an older type of being. We have some that seem very profound and, and rather kindly, the kind that look at the people and treat them as if they really are very caring beings. Some of you have heard of the channeling work done by Daryl Anka, and he channels an entity named Bashar, very powerful channeling, powerful personality. And Bashar has described himself as a hybrid, a human-alien hybrid from our future. And he's also saying in some of the channel sessions that we humans will be evolving more into this kind of form as the centuries go on. I guess we'll just have to wait and see in a previous lifetime. Many people have experiences with a being like this whom they consider rather gentle and rather sweet. And then we have all kinds of different looks and that's why I'm showing these to you with big bulges on the head and typically so many of the beings have these huge eyes as this one does. And this being, very often they're described as having pure white skin that seems to be pulled back very tightly over the facial structure and over the skull. And this type with the big head, the large head protruding in the back, and of course the big eyes as well. And this being, one of my clients, really liked this being and called him my little friend. He had many experiences with this being and this being sometimes had instruments because he would do some poking and probing and DNA samples and skin samples and fluid samples. But he also had an object such as you see right here that he's holding that's more like a wand. And that wand, the being used very often for healing healing problems with this particular experiencer and no doubt with others. Various looks, various descriptions, lots of types of ETs, and some very tall beings with very long necks and kind of little bulges and corrugations in the neck. Very often they have slightly different shaped heads and so far, and for a while, we will see some that don't ever seem to have any hair, although eventually we'll get to some of those. And this being is very tall, probably eight feet tall, maybe even eight and a half feet tall. And she doesn't look like she'd be particularly friendly and loving, I don't think. But the people who've experienced beings like this say that she is extremely caring and this type of being often is seen holding the hybrid babies, half ET, half human.